In this video, posh bee researchers from the ANSA Sophia Antipolis lab present the process of nectar collection for measuring chemical exposure in honeybees and bumblebees. Posh bee has many work packages. Here, we will concentrate only on work package two, which involves measuring chemical exposure, pathogens and nutrition in honeybees, bumblebees, and solitary bees. In work package one, field sites were selected to sample different matrices in a standardized way, according to a precise timetable. You will find more information on this particular design in a different short film. These different types of samples were intended for different laboratory analyses. These analyses are described in other films. At the ANSES Sophia Antipolis lab, we received many samples, nectar regurgitated by honeybees and bumblebees for pesticide analysis, and honeybees, bumblebees and solitary bees for pathogen analysis. In this short film, we will detail how the nectar was collected in the field on honeybees and bumblebees. In a different short film, you will learn how pesticide residue analysis were realized on nectar samples. All this work will contribute to increase pollinator health. The hive entrance was closed. That way, foragers gathered at the hive and could be easily sampled. Foragers were collected. Bees were then anaesthetized either with a cartridge of CO2 or with a bottle of CO2. Nectar was collected in Eppendorf safe lock tubes. Bee stomachs were pressed and the nectar was thus collected in an Eppendorf tube.
The Eppendorf's safe lock tubes were stored in a jar or in a bag, and they were then kept in a chilled container. Eppendorf tubes of nectar samples were stored at minus 20 degrees as soon as possible. Nectar samples were posted to the Ansys Sophia Antipolis lab for analysis. <laughs>